through biafra you are a freedom fighter you won't leave this video without liking and sharing because if you see what happened today you will know that this is the reason why they call him pm simon epa simon epa is a very smart person like very very smart person he knows what he's doing he's not after all these um nigerian connection he's looking for worldwide biafra is going worldwide if you don't know Biafra is going worldwide. You understand? As I'm speaking to you right now, if Biafra eventually stand on the December 2nd, a lot of countries are ready to partner with the Biafrans. That's why you see that Samanipa is not scared. You know, a lot of people are saying, hey, if the Biafra go, they are going to suffer. Let me tell you, a lot of countries have seen that the Igbo people are industrious and, you know, they, they love investment. They are ready to partner with Biafrans because they know that that particular Biafran region is going to be a business region whereby they will be importing and exporting. You understand? What actually happened today, Bafunio? Israel, Israelite citizens, Israel citizens talking that yes, they want Biafran to stand. I will play that video for you. That video is going like the video is going to melt you out. Like, and there's a lot of interview they also do um, for some Nigerian people about it because people did not expect it, it was unexpected. When they were talking, like as if maybe, ah, I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm really, really shocked. I'm really, really shocked. I think we have to give Samonipa a massive respect because Samonipa is smart. Ah, I, I wish Namikano have knew earlier. He wouldn't have even gone to that Ken, um, Kenya. He would have gone to Finland because even the fin, the Finnish government, the fin, um, Finnish citizens love Samonipa and they love what he's doing. That's why when they try to arrest Samonipa, they debunk everything. They block everything. No way. So what the Israelite citizen came out to do right now, I'm really, really impressed. Like, I want you guys to take your time. Just calm down. Don't rush. Watch the video. See how they are happy. They are even happy more than some Nigerians about Biafra. The way they were happy right now that the Biafra want to, want to, um, want to launch. The Biafra want to gain their independence. You will know that the Biafra has gone worldwide. It's not more within Nigeria. You know, before it just within, they are just talking within Nigeria. Right now, Biafra is not a talk of within Nigeria. It's not a talk of within Nigeria. Worldwide. You understand? Worldwide. Just only in Nigeria. According to Samonipa, over 50 million people have voted that they want um, um, Biafra nation to stand. Imagine, 50 million just from Nigeria. And now, we're talking about other countries. Other countries are now coming to say that, yes, they want um, Biafra to stand. So without wasting much, I don't want to waste much of time. Take your time and watch how this Israelite, Israel, name Israelite or Israel citizens, we are happy that Biafra want to launch. Look, just, just, just calm down and watch the video. Thank you. I, be I believe that Israel still continues with this path as of supporting its friends, its allies, its family, and just like we did that in uh, 1967, Israel supports and does what it can uh i i did hear that mr kano was in uh in israel in jerusalem be before he was abducted and uh and disappeared from the public's eye and this is the most important thing that i i want the friends to take from this uh uh discussion that israel we stand with you guys and although the the cause of biafra is not very familiar with uh with the world and with israelis uh I want to say that, you know, because of my activity, because of what I do, uh, more and more Israelis are hearing about the cause of Biafra each and every day. Uh, so, yes, we do stand with you. I want you to know that. Two gentlemen you see here, they are Israelites and um, they are our brothers. Wherever we see them around the world, we always identify with them. They are here. Please, can we, you say we hello? Hope, we hope you make a Biafra uh, state in oh. Nigeria. We wish you well. We wish you success. You are clever people. You are intelligent people. Don't let the people, what they do to you, put you down. You stay strong and God will help you. God thank will protect you. you. Thank you so much. You can you're hear. on the right side. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I can hear what he's, uh, he's praying for every Biafran. This is an Israel. This and this is an Israeli. They are praying and supporting us to have our own life back. Just as the uh, UK had their uh, prayers it and uh, had their life back, we also going to have our life back because we are peaceful people. We want to live in peace. 
That's why we want to exit out of uh, Nigeria. Can you say hello to our hello, brothers? Hello, brothers in, in Biafra. You are, you are from the same um, fathers as us. We wish you peace and safety and um, and no one should take your land, no Thank one should you. take your properties, Thank you. and God should protect you and help you prosper and do it. Amen, amen. Hello, good about SF viewers. This is Satellite Media, Mr. Rap Mbechi. Let us look at the viral video where an Israeli citizen is uh, talking about how the Israeli government helped the Igbo during the war. And he has said that the Israel will always be by the side of their friends. And he equally made mention of how Ananda de Kahlo was in Israel before he was adopted. And he looked as if blood is thicker than water because from what is coming from the Jew. I think he's going to show that actually he was a Jew. Yeah, that, yeah. I've said it many times, and uh, you can you can see how clarity has you know just resurfaced so lately. Because people that were listening before were like, "Look at this man," or "Look at these Igbos," and they, he sent to people with you know message of indignation. I mean anger. Anytime they hear us, you know, on social media or one on one, that we are from that side, they don't like it. And you know. I'm always angered anytime somebody will be telling you this is who I am. You will be telling that person, no, you are not that thing. Are you that person? Does it concern you? Ibos are from that side. I don't know why it is growing ripples among other ethnicities in Nigeria. Some persons are not happy about that link, ancestry of the Ibos that link direct to Israel. They are very, very annoyed, but it's too bad of them. This is where I come from. And I'm telling you, this is where I come from. You said I'm not. Does it concern you? I'm proud of being a Jew, being a Jew now. Okay, I told you that Jacob in Hebrew language is Jacob. It doesn't say we saw it written. Now Jacob. Abiyame is Abraham. And I'm going to call it Abiyame. Imo, Abia, Abiyama. And other part of Hebrew is because of tongue. Hebrew is from the Jews. Anybody that is not happy should go and die. I'm not worried. And they said there are so many archaeological facts that prove to that point. Many findings in Agule, they went in 2021, they discovered many archaeological findings that were the Jews. Onyo na di wenya buoye bi iwe, iwe bo, onyo bu na na iwe iwe, maka ibo man's link with Israel. Go and hang yourself. Oga, we are the guards from the guard. The whole archaeological proofs are in Agule there. They came to do the findings, they discovered it with Book of Torah. What are you saying? What is it that Nigeria needed to know again? That they have not known about Tibo man. Somebody said that his color is red. You say he's white. It concerns you. My ancestry is traced to the Jews. God, the fifth child of Jacob. That is where the Hebrews are. And the inkismen from God. And the other ones he got from uh, 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 the, the concubine. Migrated before Moses, the Exodus, and left Middle East and we settled there. Simple. I believe this uh, new development is going to add coloration to the agitation for Biafra. Biafra emancipation, Israel is going to be at the head of it. Let Nandi Kanu come out. And you know, that's what God has been doing. Each and any time we have confrontation with Nigeria, I mean Biafra is having issue with Nigeria, Israel will raise down from Middle East to here to assist the Arab. The Arab Mugareb, they will all team up against Israel. Israel will run back. Exactly what happened in 1967 is currently happening now. Additionally, with what happened to Nandekano, today we are seeing a conflict in at Gaza that is lasting over one year now. It started since October 7, when Hamas all of a sudden invaded, invaded Israel. They invaded Israel for no just cause, disalliving many Israelis for no just cause. And the United Nations has not seen it as a wrong impression. They are still on the side of Hamas, criticizing Israel, accusing Israel of what? Genocide. Out of the two, who are genocidalists? Genocidalists are somebody that invaded into somebody's communities, localities. These are living both old, the young, without, with no reasons. So United Nations should play their roles well. It's a platform that is holding the whole world together, but they are full of injustice. I mean United Nations. United Nations is not doing their wall at all. No meeting up with that objectives. 
Let me go ask you because uh, uh, Guterres was uh, declared uh, a, a personal, personal non grata by non -grata. Israeli government. Yes, a personal non -grata. Do Biafra see him the same way? And then, yes, if since since Guterres is not allowed in Israel, Guterres, Guterres is not allowed in Biafra. Why? We wrote written many many petition on how Nigerian government, military government has been discrediting, you know, the land of the southeastern Nigeria, demising, disaliving all the youths from age 10 up to 25, killing anybody, shooting all of them aside. And the United Nations has not proven it, you know, wrong to them, to the Nigerian nation that what they are doing is wrong. Okay, many petitions over, how many, over 100,000 petitions have been written since Buhari regime. Because the permanent secretary to Guterres, the UN Secretary General, has not been able to subject those petitions to the office of Guterres. Because that woman, Aicha Mohammed, is the permanent secretary to Guterres, he cannot submit that petition to the table of his boss. The Aicha Mohammed herself is a Fulani woman from Nigeria. That's why all our petition all our calls for United Nations attention to make sure that something decisively, you know, action is decisively taken against Nigeria. Guterres has not been reading all those petitions, all those calls. Aicha Mohammed block it, block Biafrans outside the office of the United Nations Secretary General. That is the problem. Okay, as it goes, how do you feel as an Ibo matter as a Biafran seeing that uh, the Jew is coming out clearly to say, yes, we we'll always be there for Biafra? Is a victory. How do you feel as a person? It's a victory. A victory achieved in 67, 68, 69. And we, we began the journey of self-determination again. Asking, question for it the more. Since 1970, though, many were disalived in 1970 by Nigerian military forces under the watch of uh, Mohammed Buhari. But still, we, we persisted. We, we, we persevered. And move, you know, moving on with what we believe is every Igbo man's ideology and spirit. That's the agitation of Biafra. See, I feel very happy that the Jews, original Jews, the whites, they are all coming together from all over the world to make sure that Biafra lives. Is it surprising that Zambia fought along with Biafra? Kenya, the Maasai tribe, the Maasai, they are the Jews, those Katuriaras in the bush. They are headers, they are the Jews. That's why all those Eastern Africans, they fought along with Ojuku in 1967. Yes. Zambia, we are here. Uganda, most of this Eastern Africa, they fought with Biafra. You have great numbers of Jews in Ethiopia. They supported us. So what is coming now is that you ask me how happy am I? I feel like flying. So you are excited? Yes, we are the controller of the world. I am over frenzied. If I use the word excitement is too low for me, over frenzied. Highly enthusiastic about the fact that Israel is with us. And whosoever Israel is with, God Almighty is with those people. Is with those people. Okay, finally, on this, because according to the man that Anana de Carlo was in Israel before he was abducted, but do you think a Samaritan who is now leading the struggle have such cordial relationship with the Jew? Yeah, the Jews. Uh, they have, uh, he has been going there. Uh, he made an impact last year. No, early this year when he went to Israel, they gave him a recognition, a certificate. It was an ensemble, that certificate, a document issued by but, uh, Bennett. Bennett, uh, Bennett, Naftali, before uh, Netanyahu took over the office fully. And it has been affirmed that Netanyahu is with us. Several times he made mention about Biafra, what is happening in the Eastern Nigeria, that Israel know, knows about it. That it doesn't mean that they are not aware that they have brothers in the Southeastern Hemisphere of Nigeria. And all was not well with them. Netanyahu ad administration knows, Israel knows. Samoneba has been what jettisoned to Israel from Finland to Israel for how many times? Working on, you know, around the clock on how to bring fully the attention of this present administration Israel to Biafra land and even Nigeria. What is going on with Nigeria and the Biafra? Eba has been working around the clock, bringing that recognition of Biafra to what NATO, which has its headquarters in Canada. So someone about recognizes Israel is very very much. More or less, like Nande Kanu doing what he should do to bring the tie, the pact between the two, two, uh, uh, the two. Let me say, use the word brothers together. Everybody knows and is working on that.
Thank you very much, Mr. Alafumuchi. This is a good person. Thank you very much.